Torpedo in the water and it's closing fast It's on a steady bear and headed straight down the stack Kick her in the tail, boys, break her back Torpedo in the water Howdy there, folks, and welcome to the 21st of September, 1942. This is my modded playthrough to better replicate a more mm, accurate vision of shall we say, Operation Watchtower, for those of you familiar, in the game War on the Sea. However, uh, in my version of this, I've been sending this um, big angry group of destroyers up and down the Solomon slot, uh, mainly just trying to uh, get the Japanese to show anything while landing Marines and running supplies to them. In one of these horrible uh, nighttime moments, I have unfortunately found myself in a very bad place because there's the whole fucking Japanese fleet out there at point blank range. So iron bottom sound happens no matter what, except this time it's all destroyers. Okay, what do we got? Uh, oh. Okay, the stakes are raised. Noted. All right, boys, here's what we're going to do. We're going to lay smoke. You want to play a game? Let us play a game. Let's shoot into that whole formation with torpedoes. All right, so we obviously have a problem here. It's the whole Japanese fleet. So we're going to have, uh, I'm just going to slow time for one or stop time for one second. I'm going to have them break, issue an order to break, and then I'm going to have them all just plow right through the Japanese fleet at full fucking speed, bumping into everybody if we can. I don't give a fuck. We are just going to go full steam at the Japanese as hard as we can in these shallow ass waters. And even though it's the middle of the night and everything else, I'm just going to be as belligerent as possible. This is what destroyers are made for. Belligerence. That's right. All right, McDonough has now taken a big ol' hit. Oh, that's bad. I think that may be the Yamato's battery. Yeah, all right. You. Speed. 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 Speed will save us or kill us all. But I intend to turn this whole place tonight into a fucking shooting gallery. All right, what do we got? Shit. Full right. I think this thing may be dead soon. That flooding looks bad. All right, he's getting torps off widespread. He's the closest, so if he sinks, he sinks. I don't care. Fire everything. Yeah. They're attempting to launch. Actually hold. There. Did that release any of them? No. Target mode. Here, target him now. Yes. All right. Why you no shoot? He's like, I have no targeting solution. I'm like, make one up. That direction. Off the deck. He's trying to figure it out. But uh, this is going to be stupid. Alright, boys. It's all or nothing. Our target is uh, anything big. Okay, that one. That's our target. Number four. All right, number four. Do we have a targeting solution? No? All right, Farragut. Charge forward. Blind him if you got him. Here we go. Straight at him, boys. Straight at him. Yar. 
Alright, I'm going to manually control this guy. I'm going to heal this rudder over. In case any of them are laying torps, I'm going to presume they are. Now, these are Mark 14s, which means uh, these ain't going to work. However, I'm soon going to come into prime torp range. They just executed a turn, so this should be interesting. If I set these out wide enough, these fish are going to make them dance. All right, let them have it, boys. All right, Dewey's taking some splash. Straight at him. Farragut, tubes, launch them, please. Can you do a five degree spread? Any spread? Any. There. Yeah, see, now he's firing. That's right, get them torps off. Okay, Dewey's having it. Farragut's got his torpedoes off. Okay, Moynihan's coming around. Oh, that's a, that's a nice big jumble of torps there. Can he bring him to bear? All right, should be closing. Actually, let's not do that. Let's let him actually get a solution. Not on number 10. Oh, well, he's already firing. Fuck it. All right. All right, the, tor the destroyers in the front are splitting them up real nice. This is all or nothing, and it is stupid. But I like it. If I can get that Yamato. That's what I want. Arr. All right. If he can get his torps off. All right, he's got to start turning. In order to get a shooting solution on this bastard. And Yamato has a lot of hull to get through. And it has like a whole cruiser's worth of secondaries. Come on, it's inside of 800 yards. Please say you can get them off. Oh no. He didn't. You useless bastard. You will cost us the war! All right, we gotta chase him down. I see where Yamato's going. He's not getting away. Okay, we do have torps. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to cut through this Japanese fleet in the middle of the night. Releasing torpedoes on everything. As soon as we can. In all directions. And I'm very much hoping, or hoping, Jesus. I'm very much hoping that uh, this uh, wonderful night attack with destroyers in a massively stupid manner. Uh, has a wonderful effect on Japanese morale night operations. Because uh, right now, they're they're all sailing around, driving around. Uh, there goes the Dale, uh, which did get some torps off. Some fish left, which is good. Looks like they may have a whammy here. Ah, heavy cruiser. Yes. I'll have some of them. Ah, yes. Torpedo. One, two... <gasps> Dong. That is... Oh, three. Three. Yeah. That's a good one. 
Well, let's see what else happens. Because I still have destroyers. Do I have any torpedoes left? Yeah, let's fucking rip them out. I mean... Oh, God, McDonough's going down at the bow. Or, sorry, no, he's not. He's going down at the stern. God. Tex, do you know what shape ships are? All right, number five is sinking, so I got a heavy cruiser. McDonough has paid for it, though. What a crazy night attack with destroyers. This is awesome. I will do a full playthrough of this game, I promise. I promise. All right, here we go. I got one destroyer left. Bit long for torpedo shots, however, oh no. This could still be interesting. They are bumping into each other pretty- oh, wow. Yeah, that, uh, that carrier's like, fuck you, I'm getting out of here. All right, I'm gonna see if this destroyer- oh man, he's taking some bad hits. I'm gonna see if he can, uh, land a few rounds. Oh no, his guns are all out. Shit. That's not good. However, these torpedoes aren't either. Oh no. This could be fun. I mean, they're- Ooh, this could be very fun. Oh, please. Please let there be a merciful lord. Oh. Well, what about this guy? Will he bonk? No. He did some work. He did some good work. Uh, that appears to be a little catastrophic and toasty there. Uh, just like Mama used to make. Alright, so we've got this guy who is the last... The last destroyer of this group, and he is not in a good way. But, uh, yeah. Jesus. My own violent little Taffy 3, just north of Guadalcanal. If I'd gotten more torpedoes off, and, uh... If I had actually managed to, uh... Have a battle plan in hand for this. This probably would have played out a lot differently. But then again, with the reliability of the Mark 14. Who knows? However, the enemy fleet is not landing on Guadalcanal tonight. The Marines can rest easy. I think, uh, Henderson Field will be responding tomorrow. And in force. Thank you for watching. And let me know what you think. And so the trap is complete. By luring the enemy into the... Solomon's down in this wonderful little bit here. And getting them to commit to defending it with continual night harassment attacks and destroying their transports and getting them to bring in heavy guns, I have now caught them with my massively overextended and undergun navy made of not only American but Royal Navy ships. I've called it Task Force Cruiser Gang. It's a bunch of light cruisers and a bunch of other crap. The walrus should be flying right over their fleet, so let's do this. Cruiser gang, begin. All right, Atlanta, there they are. All right, boys, pick your targets. Suppose we should probably start with some of the small ones to warm up. All right, blow that up, that'll make me feel better. And maintain full speed. Uh, yeah, let's do circular and form up. There we go. We're just going to spread out, turn as a big old naval fleet thing, and go right at them. Fuck them. They want to play? Let's play. I got more games than Milton Bradley. I will risk my crap to cripple your navy, sir. Simper Iratus. Here we go. Oh, cool. What are they bringing at me? Looks like zeros. With little bitty bombs on them. Alright. Let's fucking do this. 
Oh yeah, I forgot. Bang away on sonar, bang away on radar, everything. Yeah, I brought an Atlanta, what are you gonna do? Bring your fucking planes. Oh, well they- mm, San Juan did take a hit. How bad? Very bad. This was very bad for the San Juan. Oh, it's because those are- oh yeah, they're bringing land-based bombers now. All right, Birmingham is hit. Birmingham. British cruiser. Oh my god, everyone please have your radars on. I would like to have like a World War II control panel for ships. I know that sounds dumb, but I would love to have toggles. I think High Fleet did a very good job with that. Oh my god, look at all these planes that are coming in. I'm getting attacked by every plane in existence. Well, it is a carrier, but I mean, th these are also land planes. So that's a problem. Come on, guys. We don't really get really good anti-aircraft guns in the U.S. Navy until like late 43. That's where you see them get rid of the Chicago pianos and a lot of the other stuff where it's just like, they don't work great. Bofors is the way to go. Get a lot of those in Orlikans and just, you know, it's 40 millimeter or 20 millimeter and let them choose which one they want to eat. All right, we're forming up. As soon as these planes are all done, we can concentrate on uh, the other problem. I just... Fancy maneuvering, boys. Except for you. San Juan, get your shit together. Quit exploding in your engines. Stop doing that. God, what a huge air attack. And even more coming in. Now they're coming in onesies and twosies, so that's not too bad. Yeah, the Japanese had the better uh, fighters, certainly, for a while. And then we got the F-6F. And we also had ballsy pilots, though. So, I mean, mm. you, you look at American Volunteer Squadron, the Eagle Squadron, you look at the uh, guys, uh, the Flying Tigers. Um, we, we had a lot of guys who were willing to mix it up on, mm. on a fairly regular basis. So, gumption is probably one of our uh, big traits as Americans. They're like, you can't go to the moon. I was like, no, but we can steal the Nazis that can. They're like, that's, that's technically correct. And we're like, yeah. So here we go. We're going to take all these boys and we're going to run right at them. Since this is a test game, I'm not going to subject you guys to the whole game. I'm just going to show you some highlights. All right, boys. We got to get our shit together. The Japanese fleet is turning. It looks like they don't want to play. Um, I know what I want to shoot. But there's the carrier. That's what I should shoot. It's it's already turned and is running. So, all right. Uh, I need all of you to target the carrier, and I need you all to shoot it constantly. Form up attack. Form of crazy people. All right, Juno is forming in. Yep. They're still shooting that 5-inch at them airplanes. Now, if we're lucky, I'll be able to pop off some torps with these Atlantis. Uh, and as well, uh, the Brits got some torps. I'm hoping I'll be able to do something. San Juan looks like it's in a very bad way, but it is underway, which counts. That's the only way that counts in the Navy. Is it underway? So if any of these fuckers actually make it, uh, within range, I should be able to knife fight these guys, and, uh, if half my torpedoes hit, then a half of those again might work. I, I might be able to do some damage. But taking their big ships out of the fight is all my strategy. I've been using all sorts of weird things just to see what I could do, as the similar naval commander of similar resources and inclination. It's day 40-something of this uh, operation, and uh, so far, I've destroyed most of the Japanese Air Force, or at least the land-based stuff. Except for this latest batch. I think they were saving those. 
but I did sink two carriers so far. And two carriers sunk in 40 days in the Solomons is pretty great. And I'm not talking airplane tenders either. I'm talking fleet carriers. They keep bringing them and they keep finding uh, submarines waiting for them. All right, so we are now getting into gunnery range. And as you can see, we're starting to mix it up. Let's see if uh, the Royal Navy can lead the way. Birmingham. All right, come on, old Blighty. Old Blighty driving up the Solomon. Here we go. He's firing at number eight. That is, that is, all right, that's fine. I don't care. You just do whatever you want. All right, let me look. I think you're also shooting at eight because eight's in range. We can run that carrier down, though, if we succeed. If we don't, we'll just drive the carrier off, and I'll try to hit it with, uh, you know, uh, land-based bombers. That'll be fun. It's a giant flat thing. How hard can it be midway? Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to drive right on up and uh, just wage a hell of a war. This walrus is just flying around. I mean, he's got to have the view of his life. He's just like, cool. I mean, occasional bit of flag, probably annoying, but, you know, he's, uh, he's doing his best he can. Okay, so the San Juan is still burning. Uh, what is burning up here? Birmingham. Why are you burning? Oh, it's just minor. It's just a little H-E. All right. Not a big deal. I don't know where that carrier is going, but I do know it's got to die. All right, boys, here's what we're gonna do. All of us, we're gonna shoot the shit out of that destroyer. We're just gonna take him down one at a time with what comes in range, right? We're gonna target Yagumo, and we're gonna attack. Oh, there's that big bastard right there. Properly modeled with its correct armament. It's got that whole cruisers with the turrets for secondaries. And of course he's bringing his 18 inch, well 18 inch and change, someone's going to correct me. If I can get in close enough for a good torpedo run, I mean, I'd say about, God, with these twerps, maybe 3,000 yards? Maybe? Yeah, that's, this is a charge of the light brigade, but uh, fuck it, it's kind of cool, so let's do it. All right, Atlanta. Feeding it to him. Juno right next to the Atlanta. Birmingham. Coming up to speed. Birmingham. All right. Ah, he's laying smoke, that cheeky fuck. So unless the rest of that fleet turns the other direction, this smoke is going to serve as a backdrop. I think someone hit the wrong button. You know what? Fuck it. We're everything on the Yamato. That's it. That's what it's got to be. It's, it's, eh. I mean, all I got's HE, and I mean, some of these you've got some AP, HE, and some other mix, but uh, this is not going to be exactly great. All right, we are shooting at uh, the Yamato. How could you miss it? All right. It is the Yamato. Ta-da! Sir, it's that ship. The one they told us that if we ever saw, we'd die. Ah, yes. Let's sink it. Remember, ships are safe at harbor, but that's not what ships are for. Forward, boys. This guy's just over there doing his thing. I mean... It's a little wild. I'm speed up time just a little bit to close the range. Alright, they're steaming at me full speed. Their carrier's in the back. 
That's where it's gonna get stupid. Alright, we're closing. Planes are leaving the engagement area. Looks like Birmingham has taken a few hits, but not too many. Arr. All right, everybody. Break. We're going in. I'm going to plot a bunch of wild courses through their fleet and have them crisscross a little bit. And I, I want to have as much torpedo coverage as possible. San Juan will just bring up the rear. Alright, we're going to uh, replot our target to the Yamato. Alright, what do we got? Firing solution? Not really. So everybody's got what they're going to do. Everyone's going to be shooting at will. But I'm going to run a series of crazy torpedo runs on the Yamato. 6,000 yards. It's pushing it. It's pushing it. All right. The Death Star is in firing range. No, not really. But these uh, Brit torpedoes should be a might bit more reliable than the Mark 14. Asterisk, asterisk, asterisk. I know. Looks like you can't even get a plot on them. I mean, it looks like right now, the Yagumo is laying its own smoke. It's not having a good time. Uh, all these little five inch rounds are just pummeling right through it. Five and six inch rounds just bash, bash, bash. Yeah, it's it's going right through him. He's going to go down very shortly. There you go. And Birmingham's sinking because, my God, Yagumo is sinking. I think Birmingham maybe took one of them 18-inch rounds to the front, and then it became alivented. Yeah, it is, uh, it is just like stopping the water sink, so I'm willing to bet that's what that was. Uh, all right, Juno's not doing so great. 4,000 yards. Full right rudder, boys. We're going to have to swing wide to fire some torps at these a-holes. If we're going down, we're going down like bastards. All right, firing when ready. Looks like he got him off. Good. As the Brooklyn is sitting back laying rounds. All right. Juno is going down, but it did fire torps. However, Atlanta is going to have to do some torpedo dancing here in a minute. Because these torps are going to fan out, but... That's where you have to be a good captain and realize that sometimes your little uh, plan doesn't work as quickly as you thought it would. And you release Torps way too soon. But that's fine. I mean, there's the Guderian quote of, you know, no plan survives contact with the enemy. And then there's the Mike Tyson version of it, uh, which is everyone has a plan until they're punched in the face. And finding the entire IJN heavy hitters in one place with only a handful of uh, light cruisers and some destroyers on hand, it lets you know that, you know, maybe, maybe it's time to have a plan. All right, San Diego's down and uh, sunk another one of their uh, destroyers, so nice. That makes me feel good. Let's go ahead and let him have some torpedoes. Oh. Yeah, these are going to miss me. Cool. Yeah, they're all turning now. This is a bit of a jumble fuck. I like it. He's like, what the fuck? And I'm like, yeah, I don't know. It's pretty wild, huh?
Can I get a firing solution on the Yamato? Well, there are torpedoes, it's just the launcher's damaged. So that is unfortunate. Um, however... Gambia! Good day, sir. If you wouldn't mind, uh, modifying your, uh, firing solution to destroy the, uh, Yamato there. Ah, yes, the Furitaka is sinking. Excellent, excellent. Go to hell, Furitaka. Alright, Torps in the water. I think. No, that was just somebody throwing their tea over. Alright, here we go. Let's go ahead and, uh, break. And, uh, modify our heading a little bit, because I just want to get some beautiful torpedo shots on the Yamato, please. That would be very nice. Alright, looks like we did get torpedoes off. However, he is still continuing to turn, so this is interesting. Japanese losing a lot of ships today. Yes, they are. Managing to gun down quite a few of their cruisers. Uh, let's go ahead and keep doing what we do then. I mean, if I can just keep shooting torps at this guy, what's he gonna do? Pro probably murder me with those 18-inch guns is, is my guess. Uh, but we can do our best. So here we go. All right, Gambia is going down. So I'm down to four cruisers. Let's go ahead and keep fighting like mad fucks. This is what we do down here in the South Pacific. Looks like uh, you're having a bad day. Ooh. Oh no, you're having a bad day. Yeah, get fucked. All right, so. Let's run them down, boys. I want that carrier. Brooklyn, make turns for the carrier. You boys, keep Yamato busy. They're like, what? And I'm like, don't worry about it. It's just the Yamato. Said nobody. Actually, probably the guys by 45 realized it was a hotel. But still, uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to chase these uh, cruisers down. And then I am going to uh, absolutely gun down the shit out of this carrier. Um, and I think this is going to be great. I mean, it's not the, uh, it's not the outcome I completely wanted, but I'm fine with it. Their fleet is not taking Guadalcanal. Guadalcanal is mine. Do you hear me? Guadalcanal is mine. All right, so we have a furious cruiser fight up here. And I mean, it is absolutely bonkers. We got two, uh, well, actually, I believe one of these is in the, uh, Australian Royal Navy Detachment, but, um, yeah, we've, we've got our Anzac buddies down here helping us fight, some Royal Navy guys helping us fight. Hobart's going down, sadly. Uh, last of our, uh, Brit Bong friends is, uh, bringing up to have himself a good fight with the enemy. And the, uh, looks like the San Juan has finally, uh, rejoined the fight after a uh, much earlier lamented crippling. What a nasty fucking fight. Alright, Brooklyn is powering on. No damage to Brooklyn. It is continuing to... Uh, looks like he doesn't want to attack the carrier because it's not close enough or whatever. But yeah, he is keeping up a withering hail of fire. All right, let's keep fighting. You will not get Guadalcanal today. You will not get Guadalcanal tomorrow. Guadalcanal is mine. The Solomons are under my protection. You may leave when you wish. If you are unable to leave, one of my associates will be with you shortly. Yeah, no. Not that lucky. Yeah, it looks like the engines have failed on the Mauritius, but, uh... Doesn't look like they're that much better on the Nagara. It, it looks like they're having some bad times. And, uh, they're gonna have to turn again if they don't want to risk clipping into some very long-range torpedoes here. Um, but we are beating the absolute piss out of these guys. I mean, it 
it's going to be a big loss of ships. I'll say that much. But I can replace some of these. He cannot. All right, San Juan. Bring it up. Horatius is going down. It's the Yamato's main battery, man. That thing is nasty. It's like a... Uh, Oh man, he ran into one of those torps. Fuck yes. There is a just god. Alright. I won't kill him, it'll just slow him down. Which means my planes can get here. The situation has escalated. Please just fire torpedoes. Torpedoes and water, please. Alright, so. Yagumo is turning south because it wants a piece. A piece it does not really want. It is, it is It does not want a piece of any of this. It is gonna have a bad day. San Juan is not gonna put up much of a fight, though. Because most of it is on fire. It is, it is in critical condition. However, it is in not such a bad condition that it cannot launch torpedoes, which is all it really had to do. Brooklyn's going to wipe out the Agumo here shortly. Yeah. I'm sorry, but you're, you're not made out of real metal, buddy. You're, you're not a real big boy ship. You're going you're gonna to roll over and you're going to explode, probably trapping half your crew in the engine room. Sorry. So, yeah, once, once we've done this... Oh, God. I just have to hope the Brooklyn doesn't get nailed. It's that 18-inch gun, man. That's some bad stuff. That's like a freight train flying overhead. You don't need that. Not a scratch. Jinx. All right, so... Massively wild torpedo shots all through there. Most of the whole fleet sunk. This is like Iron Bottom Sound 2 electric boogaloo. Guadalcanal is mine. Alright, let's make sure we're not running out of ammo. Oh no, we're not gonna run out of ammo. I want enough to sink that fucking carrier. Cause I'm now in its range, and I hate it. And I want it to die. Oh, he's shooting at my fucking plane, that's gay. Now he's sinking. That's what happens when you shoot at my plane, man. Alright boys. Time to run down a fucking carrier. Oh, he's shooting at me with the secondaries. How cute. How very fucking cute. Oh, he -o. All right. Well, he -o. Hi. Is Yamada going to run into even more desperate torpedoes launched hours ago? Because this is great if that happens. Please don't run short. That would be too funny. Okay, I'm going to speed things up a little bit. And? And? Oh, it did hit one. Just didn't do anything. So he's still shooting at the Brooklyn. He's not managing to do... Okay, he's doing some damage to the Brooklyn. But that carrier is having a very bad day. Yeah, get fucked. That's what you get. Get absolutely railed. That's one for the history books. Oh no, it looks like an, yet another set of torps might... Might, uh... <laughs> might impact the poor old Yamato again. Uh, that crew is probably getting pretty tired of that shit. Oh man, look at this crew. Just boom, 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 boom. Yes, carrier. Where are your planes? Where are your planes, friend? 
Where are they? Did you use them all earlier? That was very foolish. All right. Looks like they're fading out of range. Let's go ahead and end this one. All right. It's about an equal trade in tonnage. But he can't replace that. Or those. And that has not yet escaped. Guadalcanal is mine. This is the last stand of the USS Brooklyn and a walrus from, I believe, one of the British planes, so, or ships. So here we go. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be bad. However, all that's left of that massive Japanese fleet is that fat fuck and that less fat fuck. So I'm gonna take my fat fuck and they are going to die. That is what we're going to do. It is time to be stupid. I'm going to try to take out yet another cruiser. Walrus? Okay. Have you heard of the Battle of Taranto, sir? Same principle. You have little bombs, but I have faith in you. It's just the Yamato. Don't worry about it. I know you've been up there for a while, and you are a biplane. And you're probably thinking, what chance do I have in hell of this happening? And I'm going to tell you that as long as you believe, and as long as you apply yourself, Anything is possible. But you're going to have to try real hard to not fucking die because it's got a lot of guns on it. So, uh, good luck. And here we go. He's almost at the release point. Increase speed to 117 knots. Oh man, this thing's got to be rattling apart. My god. Holy shit, he made it to the release point. Please do something. It would be unjust otherwise. The Warris is down. Holy shit. He like hit it right around the funnel. I mean, it, it didn't do anything, but it was pretty funny. It's gonna sh rattle that guy. Like, we got bombed by a biplane we couldn't shoot down in time. That's gotta be a bummer. Okay, torpedo bombers coming in on the Brooklyn. This might be the end of it. Yeah. God damn you. God damn you! All right, so it looks like we are still afloat. We must attack. What do we got left? All right, the front guns are empty. The rear guns are all that's got ammo. So the firing director is hopefully just going to make his best out of this as they uh, try to get the ship moving again in the correct direction. As we get this thing back up to speed, I just want to take out that cruiser. That's what I want. I want this man to have a lone battleship driving up the lonely road that I will just bomb the shit out of. That's all I want. That and I also want this Yamato to use all of his fucking ammo. I want him to go back to that shipyard. I want him out of my theater of operations or at the bottom of the Solomons. That is my promise. Tall Barbet is tall. Not sure if the uh, Brooklyn has the uh, ammunition or the wherewithal to actually be able to hit, but we are getting the engines back up and running, so fuck off, we're gonna run away. If nothing else. This has been a series of insane engagements. But I'm gonna give them all my fucking ammo before I go. Radar probably would also help firing solutions. I had forgot to turn that on, and the crews in this time period believe that that magic box... 
that contains the radar watsits are possessed by the devil, and so they don't turn them on automatically. You have to order them to do it with a 45. Ah, yes, you know it's a good bridge when it has a canvas top. All right. I'm certain your crew very much appreciates the canvas top design and the open fucking Pacific. <laughs> I'm sure that's really fun. All right, so, uh, yeah. I only got two guns running, but uh, let's hope they actually work. All right, so they're running. I mean, we've got the Yamato running, uh, and I've got this thing now kind of working. I mean, I could actually counter flood to even it out, but I don't give a fuck. So uh, let's just keep that list. Get that Brooklyn lean. All right. If he thinks he can outgun me, he might be right because I may run out of ammunition. I will hold my fire. We will use it. Okay, now watch. I'm just going to hold my fire and act very casual. I have no ammo. I'm like, oh no. I have no ammunition. I'm going to wait till he gets close. Then I'm going to give him the star shell. All right, give him the star shell, boys. Yeah, weird him out. Give his gunners powder blindness. All right, so he's got a pansy-ass gun on there, but it can go through my pansy-ass ship. So what I need to do is get my pansy-ass up there, and I need to fight him. See, he's leaving. He's like, oh, I don't want to play, but I do. I wish to be very belligerent. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell him to attack this guy. He's probably coming in for a torpedo run, and we're going to switch back to good old-fashioned uh, AP, you know, the rounds that actually hurt. And, uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to do that. We're just going to... We're just going to fire a lot into them with the AP we have. Oh, look at all that star shell floating above them. That must weird them out. They must be like, what in the fuck? Oh, no. It appears that now I can shoot through you because I held my fire with my precious few rounds left. 50 rounds of AP in the lockers, boys. Sink her. If I can claim one more ship for my uh, for my trophies, I will consider this a just victory in this war. The Solomons are mine. They always have been. They always will be. The Solomons are mine. Brooklyn has no ammunition. Yeah, it does. There's 44 rounds of AP. Oh, shit. That's right. The angle is too extreme. Actually, this is going to work great. This is actually going to work real good. Hold on. I'm not sure if he's out of ammo, too. I mean, he's only letting light loose with baby guns. All right, here we go. Yar. Oh, look at that. Yahar har. He's having a bad day. Oh dear. I turned at the last minute. Oh, you poor bastard. You fell for the dumbest trick in the book. I turned left. 
I got five rounds left. I hope he sinks. He doesn't need to know that, but it would make me feel better. What a mighty ship. Mighty ship from Brooklyn. Out of ammo. Just in time. Down she goes. How many times have I had to tell you, old man? The Solomons belong to me. What have you brought for me this time? Oh, you're back. Oh, they sent for the Navy to come to Tulagi. The gallant Navy agreed. With 1,000 sections in different directions. My god, what a fucked up stampede. Fuck them all, fuck them all. The long and the short and the tall. Fuck all the admirals who give us the flack. They don't give a shit if we ever come back. We're saying goodbye to them all. As back to our rust pots we crawl. There'll be no promotion this side of the ocean. So cheer up, my lads, fuck them all. They say there's a convoy that's leaving New York Bound for those blighty shores Heavily laden with tanks and with planes Shit for old Adolf, of course Fuck em all, fuck em all The long and the short and the tall Fuck all the captains and all the mates too Fuck the engineers and the whole goddamn crew We're saying goodbye to them all As back to our rust pots we crawl We'll start a commotion that side of the ocean So cheer up my lads, fuck them all They sent for the nurses to come overseas The reason was perfectly clear To make a good marriage and push a good carriage While fucking all hands, my dear Fuck em all, fuck em all The long and the short and the tall Fuck all the blonde cunts and all the brunettes don't be too choosy, just fuck all you get. We're saying goodbye to them all. As back to our rust pots we crawl. You'll get no erection at short arm inspection. So cheer up, my lads, fuck them all. Fuck them all, fuck them all. The long and the short and the tall. Fuck all the blonde cunts and all the brunettes. Don't be too choosy, just fuck all you get. We're saying goodbye to them all. As back to our rust pots we crawl. You'll get no erection at short arm inspection. So cheer up, my lads, fuck them all.